Welcome to The Knower's Arc, a podcast for making the practice of meditation accessible and relevant to everyone, including you. Today, I am with Joey. And for those of you who are just tuning in, my name is Plern Pertumis. And um, both Joey and I are doing this as your co hosts. Hello. Hi, Plern. It's great to hear from you. And it's great for you to be interviewing me. It feels different, but it feels good. Yes. And uh, I'd like to reveal the reason why I'm the one who's interviewing you today. Um, it's because the, the guided meditation that we have selected for today actually took place on the first day of the retreat. And I got to be honest with you, I wasn't really getting into it as much um, because, you know, it was the first day of the retreat. And I was so caught up in my own mind that I really didn't benefit as much from, from this guided meditation. So can you tell us about your experience, Joey? Sure. So this guided meditation um, is called uh, Seeing the Mind as It Is. And, it, and what Ajahn Pia Silo basically talks about is to separate yourself from your mind, to step away. So once you're able to separate yourself from your own mind, you can see it more objectively. And basically, he explains the nature of the mind, how it's like the monkey, how it's always jumping around from one place to another. And all you basically need to do is just to step away, take one step back, look at it objectively as a separate entity, and you can feel so much more objective and so much more free about your thoughts. So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being extremely difficult and one being so easy and natural, how easy was it or difficult was it for you to, to do that, to separate, step back? Okay. So, so like you say, it's, it's all about your mindset that day or during that period. Um, when, when you're bogged down with work, with things you're worrying about, with things that somebody said to you that day, it's never easy. Um, so, so I think one of the best ways to get into the groove of meditating is to listen to something like this. Um, it's not something very specific like death meditation or, um, loving kindness. It's, it's more broad. It's more for any time and any situation kind of meditation. So I would say, I would say normally I get into the groove very easily. Um, but with this meditation, it just helps you get it, get, get into the groove much easier. Which was probably why um, Adan Piasilo started with this on our first day. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and the thing about this meditation is very short. So Ajahn speaks for about eight minutes and he allows us to sit and meditate for about 12, 13 minutes. So even if you feel like that day, the day you decide to sit with this meditation, you're, you're a little bit edgy you're you're you you want to get up and you want to walk around you want to think it's only 20 22 minutes so anybody can do this one all right well i think this is a good place for us to pause our discussion and then go straight into the guided meditation so this is our, our first sessions of uh, sitting meditation together Maybe we can start by observing uh, the feeling uh, that you are having right now. Uh, the feeling of the body right now. Uh, how you are feeling. And the feelings of the mind, the mind right now was the mood, emotions, uh, feeling that arise in the mind. Uh, just observe it as it is. And we can start from it. Uh, observe the body. Uh, see if there are any kind of uh, stress in the muscle. And then uh, relax. Uh, 
allow your body to rest uh, on the mat, on the cushion, and try uh, to keep your back straight, uh, but not too stiff. Uh, relax the muscle at your shoulders, your neck, your back. Now, trying to find the balance by uh, between uh, putting the effort uh, uh, to be mindful uh, at this moment, and then and relax. Uh, these two can go together, uh, trying to put an effort in bringing awareness uh, to present moment and relax uh, the body. Now, when you're ready, uh, Gently uh, bring your attention uh, to your own breath. We can use our own breath as a tool of our meditation uh, uh, to be an object of our meditation because the breath is neutral. It doesn't bring any feeling uh, in itself. But when we are aware of our own breath, we can observe our mind better. We can see uh, feelings, thoughts that arise in the mind uh, easier. Uh, so our breath become our tools in uh, meditation uh, to help us to be able to see our own mind or understand our mind better. Uh, gently bring your attention uh, to your own breath. When you are, you are breathing in, now you are aware that you are breathing in. And when you are breathing out, you are aware that you are uh, breathing out. Uh, during the first few days, we learn to be uh, patient uh, with our own mind. Our mind is like a monkey mind. Uh, there will be thoughts and feelings arise in the mind. And the mind likes to jump uh, from one thought uh, to another thought, one feeling uh, to another feeling. So our duties uh, in uh, meditation practice is to be an observer. Uh, try to observe the mind as it is. Uh, try to see thought as thoughts. Uh, see feeling as feelings uh, without judgment. Uh, without trying to proliferate anything uh, on it. This is a time that we learn to be uh, our own good friend, learn uh, to be with ourselves at present moment. not dwelling uh, about thoughts in the past 
or uh, keep worrying about things in the future. We try not to be so hard uh, with ourselves, and we learn uh, to be kind with ourselves, learn to forgive, learn to accept and let go. So whatever uh, happening in the mind, negative thoughts, negative feelings, uh, just see it as it is and then let it go. Again, our duty uh, is to observe No, not to force the mind to be as we like it to be. I'm trying to come back no, to the awareness of the present moment, one breath at a time, at a time. <coughs> 